Welcome to our continuing Lair of Secrets Cyberpunk Red actual play campaign. Previously, the Edge Runners were hired to flip a switch in the depths of Elysium HQ, a ruined corporate office building located in the hot zone of Night City. After stocking up on antibiotics, kibble, and ammunition, and of course, uh, a quick stop by Atlas to pick up a flamethrower, they decided to head into the core of the city in a vehicle acquired by Omen, the team's nomad. After evaluating the rumors that they had collectively gathered, the Edge Runners decided to enter through the southeastern edge of the hot zone. The approach was guarded by the Sawbones, a mercenary band of med techs who loot technology and supplies from the hot zone. They also provide basic medical care to the wretched inhabitants of the ruined core. After passing through the Sawbones checkpoint, they headed down towards 16th, um, headed down 16th Street towards Efflinger Street, passing by a handful of refugees who had just emerged from an abandoned grocery store with a handful of, of beat up, busted cans of food and were being shaken down by a contingent of scabbers. But despite this this uh, incident pulling at their heartstrings, the, uh, the edge runner just blew right past them, ignoring their plight and instead headed on for their mission because Omen's not going to have any of that. Uh, you are now reaching, <laughs> arriving at the edge of a Lucian uh, HQ, Elysium HQ, and so I'm going to do the roll 20 thing and move us over to the other map. Yeah, I think uh, everyone in the back seat, which was Omen and Bob, decided, yeah, let's 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 get out and help them. And uh, Omen and APT <laughs> were like, nope, we're not stopping. Nope. <laughs> Now, Didn't even throw some kibble out the window on your way by. No. Nope. <laughs> That's for okay, the so, <laughs> um, so as you uh, as you approach, um, you can hear. Uh, so you're, you're, the car is coming down. Uh, you guys are going to be approaching from the the south side of this map. So if you want to let's see, I can't scroll your screen. Yeah. So if you if you move all the way down, there's a there's a yellow car in the lower oh, right hand okay. corner. That's a big map. Is that us? Ken likes big maps. Is that us? Um, you cannot lie. That is you. You are in the oh, yellow okay. car. Um, so there are people here. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to describe them in a second. Um, as you approach, you can hear either, like you've got the, you know, presumably like the windows down or whatever. But even without it, you would hear frustrated screaming and the sound of heavy weapons fire punctured by a shotgun fire. Um, the screen, the screaming and gunfire pause. Um, for a moment, at which point you can hear a frustrated voice yelling, die, stupid birds, die, and others yelling, yeah, you're not getting our chrome, die. Um, the uh, As you're approaching, you can see that this there's a main road um, that passes by the massive glass and steel bulk of a uh, Elysium HQ. Somehow, uh, power still flickers through its external lights, creating a haphazard strobing effect. Some of the, the windows on the building are shattered and shadows flit and jump within. Um, as you draw closer, because you're now at this area, you can see um, three individuals covered in patchwork, patchwork armor, painted day glow neon, and they're standing on the road next to a burned out car. Uh, they're yelling at the sky and shaking their weapons at something unseen. Um, around them, you can see like the pulped remains of, of uh, like, feathered bodies. Um, mm. One of their, their leaders are, uh, like leaning against one of the cars, he's got this heavy assault rifle in one hand, and uh, you can see there is an eye hanging out of his socket that he doesn't even seem to notice. Um, and as you like are approaching, you can see like he gets back to his feet, screams, and just takes out the assault gun and starts spraying it at Elysium HQ, um, and then like stops again and pants heavily. The the scene around you, there's this like because it's like, I think. We're going to say it's like early evening at this point as you've been like kind of made your way downtown and what have you. Um, there's this red and orange glow coming from somewhere. There's a, there's a sense of heat, but maybe maybe it's just your imagination because alleged, you know, you're, you're now in like the hot zone. You can see the ruins of Arasaka Towers like <clears throat> right over there, right? Mm -hmm. um, all around you, like where further out into the city, you had heard um, more of the sounds of, of night city and like the, the hustle and bustle as it were here, everything is very muted. Um, and it's broken by the occasional like collapse of rubble. Um, the sound of a metal door slamming shut, um, maniacal bro laughter, 
a faint explosion, distant sobbing. Um, it smells like decades, decades old ash, melted rubber, burned concrete, which, you know, you're not even sure, like, what did, <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing until you got here. Um, dried up biodiesel, right? Just like, de- like urban decay. This is a candle. I want this candle. <laughs> Urban Decay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Urban Decay the candle. That's nice. Right. There, there so that's where you're at. You guys come in in the vehicle. Um, the train is about what you saw. So you can see, uh, to describe for uh, the people who aren't watching the stream. So basically, there's this, uh, like, what must have been, like, a kind of corporate plaza in front of the Elysium HQ. It's filled with piles of rubble. Um twisted looking plants that have grown up out of the rubble, uh, some discolored pools of something, probably not good. <laughs> um, the collapsed remains of a smaller outbuilding. Um, mm-hmm. The streets, you can still see like there is residual power flickering somewhere to illuminate like the, the old digital signs and stuff, but nothing is lit consistently. So the whole area feels just run down and horrible. Far more so than your regular night city. <laughs> what a magnificent smell we've discovered. <laughs> King should we? At... We should to, probably to... ditch the car somewhere where it won't get stolen. Good luck. <laughs> you think there's some place we could ditch a car around here that it won't get stolen? I- I'm not in favor of this plan. <laughs> What, letting no. the car get stolen or not letting the car get stolen? Uh, letting the car get stolen and ditching it. That's what I'm saying, is you, we ditch it, a.k.a. park it, somewhere where it won't get stolen. So we can drive back out of here. Have you seen everything I've seen coming in here? Everything gets stolen. I'll okay. think I'm staying with the car. Good luck. You have to go in with us, Omen. <laughs> You're not what? sitting in the car while we do this run. <laughs> we can't do this without you. But, but to my job get a is look driving. At... <laughs> I love the idea that Omen's just going to be like driving loops around with, like the, <laughs> the like the belt, like you know the yeah. called, like, the city loop, right? The inner city loop, right? Just yeah. around. Just, just like zone. you dropped us off at Target. We're going to run in and yeah. pick a few things. You just. <laughs> um, I'm not going to mention it. Milk. Probably pick up some sniper skills. That would make my distance a little bit there better. You Meanwhile, the koi hounds are howling. Uh, sorry, yep. Chris, you've been trying to say something. I was going to say, <laughs> APT is trying to, like, you know, try to get a look at what these birds, what these things are. I mean, the thing that is probably going to stop us from getting to the entrance. I would like to know what those are. So APT is doing everything short of hanging her head out the window to get a better look. Do you have um, any sort of enhanced vision, a scope, a sight? Sadly, no. Um, let's see. I could roll a thing, I guess. I, mean, I, I don't know if there's could, a thing you to probably roll. could roll a thing. Let me uh, um, pull up my list of things. Uh, Bob will uh, lean forward and tap APT on the shoulder and hand her his binoculars. Ah, I have binoculars now. It's off-board cyberware. Yep. All right, I got a plan. You oh, leave boy. your camera equipment so they steal that instead of the car. I'm pretty sure they would just steal the whole car so they could get the camera equipment too. No, outside of the car. Kids? Like an Why? offering to like. I don't think this the works. Really God exactly. or something. Like an offering. Yes. There no. we go. It's so, an offering. APT is you, you take the binoculars and look at the building. Make a make a perception check. Yes, sir. All right. One I feel moment. Like they would just load the camera gear into the car and then just take both of them. Yeah. I got a 13. I mean, you have to okay, be pretty so you... dumb or desperate to live here. Uh, but, you know, I think that's still the most obvious go. See, See this is where you guys totally have, should have hired some red shirts. Yeah. Paid them well, and like, like we need you. We'll, we'll pay you guys when we get back. We just need you to drive the car around. <laughs> but that that presumes that we would have any money left after this run at all. This is this is true. All right, so uh, 
APT, you're, you're you're looking at the building, and so you can see these these shapes. The the, sh the, the shapes <laughs> resolve themselves into like black shadows that are flying around inside the building. You can also see um, you can see like vines growing up the inside of the windows, and occasionally where it's broken, you can see that like growth has like jutted out of it slightly. Um, um, and like there's there's decayed and withered vines. Like once they get outside of the building, they seem to just kind of like collapse down the side of it. Uh, the feathered sh these black shapes that are <clears throat> flitting around, you can see they look like large. They're large birds. So you guys know of birds. So there were there have been a number in the in the Cyberpunk twenty forty five timeline. There are a number of, like there have been a number of like avian flus and stuff, and the city had put a bounty on birds, and so. Um, if I, I was trying to find some stuff about the avian flu, I'm not quite sure what the official canon is, but we're going to say a lot of the birds were wiped out. You just don't see them because the city was just trying to like kill as many of them as possible so the infection wouldn't spread. So it is unusual to see birds anywhere in the city. Um, but you know, you know, kind of like urban legends, you know what a chicken is, right? Because um, right. everything tastes like chicken, even if you don't actually have one. Um, these are large, like crow-like raven-like creatures um mm -hmm. but they're very odd they're you know you catch glimpses of them they're uh, some of their eyes are gro glowing in um neon colors like red orange yellow purple um you catch glimpses of metal as their wings like are flitting around you think you catch a glimpse of like some sort of like delicate cybernetics running down the back of one of them um oh god they're collecting shiny things. Oh my god. Okay. And there's like these <laughs> hints of like silver tracing on their skulls. And these are big, like bigger than your normal crow. Like All right. think of like a, a full on really hefty raven, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. And there's a so, lot of uh, and they so seem I, to be unsettled. So I lean back and I okay. Two things, guys. First I think inside the building is going to be more dangerous than outside the building. <laughs> and I point out the vines inside and how they die when they come outside and how there's... And then I say, those big raven things up there, they've got cyberware. Like implanted or like carrying around with them? They're glowing, so I'm assuming that they're implanted. Well, that's not great. <laughs> so we've got smart birds collecting shiny things off of the humans. So um does, does that mean that there's a ripper doc working on birds? Now, I mean now I feel bad that I didn't It's not the craziest It's not the craziest thing I've heard this week. Yeah, now I feel bad <laughs> that I didn't buy junk cyberware and said I bought kibble for dogs. <laughs> right? <laughs> Could have thrown junk cyberware at the birds. <laughs> so as you're as you're watching this you see a cloud of the birds like suddenly explode out of one of the upper levels and come like break out into sort of like three avian tendrils and come swooping down towards um, these mooks that are outside um, that immediately like they start firing again like their weapons click 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 because they used up all their ammo just shooting at the building and they're struggling to um, to reload. And it seems like the birds have timed this perfectly. They come swooping in and they start like ripping at the flesh of um, these Dayglo warriors <laughs> in the middle of the lot. Uh, and you can see like they're purposely striking at their uh, at their cyberware, right? Like they're going oh for God. the metal arm. Um, <clears throat> they're trying to get at the guy's glowing red eye. And feeling pretty good about my life choices at this point. The, the one big hulking guy, like he just screams and he like he rips out like you know it's if you've seen like uh um live die repeat or edge of tomorrow i guess is what it was actually mm -hmm. called right like you know like the helicopter blade as uh as a weapon right he's got like a sword that big that he's just like hammered together from somewhere in the ruins and he's just wailing about with it like a halberd just trying to like kill these things and he's completely enraged Watching guys this guy, <laughs> I get out my cyber deck and I want to try to scan and see if there's like wireless signal or something 
that the birds are giving off, like something that they're using to communicate amongst themselves, some sort of flocking algorithm, some sort of thing that they're using to coordinate okay. or, or just be able to pick up on their, their where, you know? Yeah, so sure. So, yeah. Then um, we start the port scans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to see. Run the map. So, yeah. What do you think would appropriate appropriate skill like? Let me take a look. Cyber tech, um, basic tech. I'm thinking it's probably cyber tech, but let me. God, there are so many skills in this game. Um, <laughs> there are. I can send the uh, skill list again if you guys need it. Go no, ahead. I've got it. I've got it. Uh, let's, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's go with cyber tech. <clears throat> or is it investigate? No, I. <clears throat> mm. I mean, I think if you're trying to, if so, I think if you're just trying this. to pick up g general Wi-Fi, so I think that would be electronics and security tech. All right, um, yeah, let's let's go with that. That's good. All right, uh, roll, and I got a thing somewhere. Nice. One of okay. one of my yeah, windows. Yeah, that's a critical. That's a critical success because the yeah, uh, there we go. <clears throat> Ten exploded, right? Yeah. Um, if I'm reading this correctly, go me. So, twenty four. Holy moly. There, there is a there is a low grade Wi Fi network that um, you're like you're picking up erratic uh, but coherent bursts of radio, an electromagnetic radiation emanating from Elysium HQ and bursting from the birds themselves. But they also like you can hear as they're doing this, you can also hear them screeching. And you can hear them saying, uh, what, do they, "What are they saying?" Hold on, I lost saying? my notes. Saying, yes, because they start <laughs> they start screaming, and um, I wrote far too much, guys. <laughs> <laughs> really? They're like, they're, they're 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 you can hear them in a like a collective overlapping um, cacophony. Chrome, oh. glorious Chrome, give us Chrome. Yeah, not yeah, in the not car. <laughs> yeah i'm not leaving the car either <laughs> so i think this is probably a good time to go to initiative so that you guys can decide what you're doing in the yeah, order that you're doing initiative. it so i, I guess it's also while like... apt scanning he bob's definitely gonna pull out the camera and start recording these things and turn on the hands hearing so he can hear and you know record those things so that we can uh, have a good overlay on the video so there are three swarms of crows that are currently uh fighting the, the those don't represent individual birds. Those re represent <coughs> clusters of birds. Swarms. How swarms. how many Lots. approximately Birders swarms out. are like? How many birds are in a quote unquote swarm? Like ten uh, or twenty, or like are we talking hundreds of birds? Like no, like like six. Okay. Each swarm is like six coherently, like coherently collaboratively enough to enough to enough to be a distraction. You would not want to be. Yeah. If you've ever actually found yourself in a swarm of, right, like even just being in a few, amidst a few pigeons in New York City can be overwhelming. So at least in my experience, not a big fan of pigeons. You can only imagine crows that actually have some motivation would be way worse. All right, so I'm going to add an initiative for our crow friends. I have to go brush up. I forgot. I took a point in spot weakness for my my solo combat. Probably be useful. You have been trained to look for weak spots to damage even heavily armored targets. Each point adds oh plus one damage to the damage before. All right, All right. so APT, we're, we'll go at the top of the initiative. APT. Um, I'm going to try to introduce a little disruption into the signal and see if that does anything so basically generating noise over the wi-fi see if it disrupts the swarm at all okay so how am i going to do that you ask that is an excellent question um <laughs> let's go with i think it's probably electronics and security tech i don't know that cyber tech is really appropriate cyber tech i'm thinking is more cyberware yeah so all right, all right. so rolling got a 14 okay um, so you're like trying to basically like, trying to like so like 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 flood the network with pack with with junk packets is more right, or less gotcha. what, I'm, 
Um, Jamming. Yeah, so you, um, we will see what the, the, the crows seem suddenly momentarily distracted, and we'll see what they do when we get to their initiative. Yep. I mean, that's what old school multiplayer Doom used to do, was flood the network with packets. Um, yes. <laughs> because it could, didn't know uh, how to connect directly to the machines that were playing. So, I'm assuming, like, at this point, everybody is actually still in the car, even though they're showing up on the map. Right? No, no one's I'm actually definitely jumped. in the yeah. car. I'm definitely behind Nobody's jumped car. out yet. So. You're not, you're not, yeah, APT is definitely not behind the <laughs> rubble there. And actually, you know what, I think the car is actually a token, and I think I can give, um, I think I can give uh, Aaron control of it. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Which would make sense, right? <laughs> I tried putting myself in the passenger seat, but it wasn't that. All right, a woman, you should be able to drive the car. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> I don't think I've ever given players control of tokens before, so use your power wisely. <laughs> you say that, yet you gave it to Aaron first. <laughs> uh, these the are the decisions people regret. <laughs> Does anybody have any, I guess, noticeable cyberware on them? No. Yeah. I do not. Not really. I was like, I've got neuroware, but basically we all aren't showing any chrome, so that's... Yeah, I mean, I think it depends on, you know, in 2077, everybody's got, like, you know... Yeah. Visible <laughs> cyberware, because that's the style these days, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've got the cyber audio suite, but not really visible. Nope. Is our weapon. So, Omen, I mean, what are you doing? Now that you have control of the vehicle in both... Uh, the real and the virtual. Um, um, I am going to look up because I am a little curious about my weapon here. Um, um, is there a condensed area of like the birds where they're all more like, can I find a more target rich environment in the flock? Um, no, not, I mean, not really. They're all just basically in that, like, five-by-five five space. So it, they're, they're kind of densely packed. Because they're not, like... I'm envisioning that they're kind of looping out but then coming in together again. So they're more or less in that space. But they're not... There's not a point where they're all just, like, jammed together. But they're also not spread out, like, 20 feet wide. So um, do you mean, like, I'm is there a point where it, all like... three swarms come together? Or... Yeah. yeah. I'm looking for a good place for a shotgun shell. No, I mean, I think the, a good place for the shotgun shell is just firing into the flock. <laughs> that's that's what I'm going to do then. Um, is there a range problem? Do I need to move up for range? I'm going to stick the shotgun out the window and, and fire <laughs> so the optimum, as we drive by. So you'll have to do some, some measuring. Um, the optimum range for the shotgun appears to be 13. The lowest uh, DV for... So at zero, sorry, at zero to six squares... Um, the DV is 13. What are you at? You're at We are 24, 24 meters to the nearest flock for Omen. How far does my okay. car go? Uh, pretty far. I, I mean, I, <laughs> okay. I think that's... I think you can get there and like easily in a turn. Um, <laughs> man. If you're going to... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we going? They're distracted. Why are we... Okay, here we go. So make a uh, make a. So we didn't. So we didn't help the helpless scavers who were just scavenging food. But we're gonna help these booster gangers who are getting their cyborg stolen, being attacked by cybernetically enhanced birds. No, we didn't we're need not the helping them. We need I don't know. protection for the car. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that we were just targeting we're the birds while they were attacking Is that someone what we're else. Doing? <laughs> <laughs> I right, see so damsels in distress that will protect our car for us. <laughs> I love how this Fair is going. Enough. All right, so um, fan freaking tastic. Okay, so Omen goes t driving in. Um, so you can make a land. Let's see, I think it's land vehicle. Uh, land vehicle is the is the skill, I believe. Like drive land vehicle because you're you're driving through sure. rubble and what have you. You're not on the actual street. Um, Oh no! <laughs> You're protect the car. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, so, so we broke the axle. I got so good news right. and I got bad news. 
Yeah, that was my first thought too, Chris. Is that really a minus two on your roll? Yeah. I don't know how that happened. That's a critical fail, right? It's a crit fail. Oh, Uh, God. We're walking out of here. D10, you rolled a one. So, Omen's like, I got an idea. She's like, got the hot... So, I'm assuming you've got, like, the shotgun balanced, like, in one hand as you're, like, coming around, right? So, with the crit... You hit that pile, like you're trying to come around the pile of debris. You catch uh, like a piece of rebar s- sticking out of it. It punctures the tire, um, rips up the side of the vehicle. Like you do everything in your power to kind of hold it over, and you're because you're also trying to like line up the shot as you're coming in, right? The vehicle flips. You get to exactly where you are. The flips. Vehicle oh flips. no. <laughs> Rolls over onto its side, and uh, now I think it, it, it comes all the way over. I don't have a flipped car icon. It rolls to a stop. You guys are all upside down inside the vehicle, um, and then it, like, spins once and ends up uh, in that position. Um, I got good news! No one's stealing the car! Is everybody wearing seatbelts? <laughs> Seriously, was everybody wearing seatbelts? Yes. Uh. <laughs> Probably not. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the guys in the back seat were wearing seatbelts. <laughs> right, so I, I, I want to point a... out. I want to point out the amazingness of this role. Because <laughs> level right. six drive, level eight reflexes, so that's a base of fourteen, and then she rolled a one, so that gives a fifteen. Then, because it's a one on the crit fail, then rolled a ten to subtract. <laughs> From the thing to give a total of five. <laughs> wow. There are crit fails and there are crit fails. Yeah. That is about as fail as it could get. I got some so, good news uh, and some bad making, news. That was making an athletics check. The car can't check. be stolen. <laughs> yeah, the car's not being, being stolen. That's the good news. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's make a uh, make a make, a make an athletics check. All right, um, as as the door as the the car rolls, you are ejected from the vehicle, but you manage in true edge runner style to like catch yourself. You come up, like your flak jacket catches the because um, you you're wearing uh, body armor, right? Uh, I'm Gosh. wearing light armor jack. What about Atlas? <laughs> Uh, I'm wearing the same. Okay, light so you kind of like come skidding out of the vehicle um, as it crashes <sighs> down, and like come up against these rocks as you're physically thrown from the building <laughs> or from the the moving vehicle. Um, you'll take six points of damage. Oh wait, do I need to roll bladed. athletics too? You need to roll uh, athletics. That was my athletics, yeah. Ken. Oh, that oh. was your <laughs> athletics check. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I think Atlas is <laughs> just <laughs> fine. Atlas is, so yeah, Atlas just comes up, dusts himself off. You've got a bit of rubble on you. <laughs> Atlas, no damage uh, to you. Atlas has done this before. Right. Uh, Bob comes up and he's just like, protect the camera, protect the camera, and rolls over. You will take six and points of damage as you uh, are physically ejected from the vehicle. Got it. Ow. I'm gonna look over it, Bob. Why'd you do that? <laughs> From upside down, hanging in the driver's seat. I'm gonna say Omen doesn't get the shot off. <laughs> she holds on to the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> um, Atlas. I assume you asked the question earlier. Who has the flamethrower? I believe Atlas has the flamethrower because no, you're the I one who wanted flame the flamethrower. Thrower. Oh, Aaron no, has the flamethrower. I have okay. the, the shotgun is the flamethrower. Oh, 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 I was confused. I was confused. It's you got, have the flamethrower, right? It, yes, the flamethrower has <laughs> is a shotgun like incendiary rounds, which I bought. Right. Right. Because they don't have actual rules for flamethrowers, but we're gonna call it a flamethrower. If you could call it a flamethrower, that will remind me that things will catch on fire. <laughs> oh yes, I intend yeah. to burn the birds and Alright, so you've <laughs> Great. We're having chicken tonight. <laughs> or whatever. Atlas, that what is. are you doing? <laughs> tastes like chicken. Um it will taste I mean, like chicken. I imagine I'm just like Well, that worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Did it? And uh jeez, I don't know. My assault rifle 
I imagine using an assault rifle will like take is good for taking out one or bird at a time, but uh... yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> But I don't have much else other than a rocket launcher <laughs> to do AOE stuff in. I don't want to use one of my two rockets, so... Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just gonna... I feel like a pistol would probably be faster. So we'll just, I'll just target the closest bird here with my, uh, with my pistol and shoot at it. That's a good shot. That is a very good shot. Uh, oh, okay. Needed a 15. <laughs> oh, good. So it you... Actually, it put in my spot weakness, too. <laughs> cool. Nice. All right. Damage roll, <laughs> Has APT said anything about the... Um... The network? No, not yet. Right. We were okay. I mean, it, it happened. It all happened so fast. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> I mean, I was disrupting the network at the same time that Omen was but driving. You messed with the electronics in the. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that would. Yeah. Somehow, I'm going to get blamed for this. Uh, so Atlas, you 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 uh, you blast at one of the birds. Um, how many shots do you get? What's your rate of fire? Uh, with the heavy pistol, it's still one. Okay. All right, All right. Uh, Angry Bob, shaken and stirred. <laughs> <laughs> um, Angry Bob is, uh, let's see, what's his move on this sheet? Oh, it's in his stats. Okay, five. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, he's going to take some cover over here behind, uh, actually, we're about there, behind the rubble there. And, uh, well, Atlas has already started, so we'll also take a shot with his... His heavy pistol, ten meters away. So same. So what you're behind, just so you know, is big piles of garbage. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It's not the best of cover, but it's still some cover. All right. So what's your range? Uh, my range is ten, so I needed a fifteen. I got a twenty with thirteen damage. Okay. And uh, sorry, which crow were you shooting? Which swarm were you shooting at? The, the same nearest one, uh, one here. Uh, hold on, it's still on measure. This one here. That one. Okay, cool. Um, and that's the one that uh, we're going to say that Atlas shot too. Yes? I believe so. Okay. Uh, so, 13. so you see one of the crows had like, your shot knocks two of the crows out of the air in a, an explosion of feathers. They screech and just caw aggressively and angrily and sadly as um, two of their companions fall. Where's my friend? Little did we know that the crows would have protected the car. <laughs> if we had only killed these pesky humans. I mean, at this point, I'm also just... Given like, over their cyberware. Do we even need anyone to protect the car anymore? <laughs> <laughs> We're a little past that, yeah. I'm a problem solver. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's You're the word problem I something. Use. <laughs> Oh, if it was possible on my turn, I'm also going to sneak over behind the rocks and kind of duck down behind them. I would get away from me, too. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're big enough for cover or if it's just they look big, but I don't know if they're actually big enough to use for cover or not. All right. So Heavy Pistol actually has a rate of fire of two. How does that work? Uh, you just we fire a second yet. time, I think. How about I look? I'll look it up. Okay. Uh, I'm only taking one shot because I, you know, fell out of the car. Okay. I think you get more than one shot, but I think the consecutive shots are like quarter penalty to them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for my uh, one of my skills here on my character sheet. There are so many skills in this game. Uh, combat skills. Oh, heavy weapon. Here we go. Okay. So when... Remind me, guys, because I haven't actually, as a GM, had to do a thing where I attack people in a while. <laughs> and I don't have this to be automatic like you guys do. So I'm rolling... My, I'm rolling a d10 and adding my uh, heavy weapon skill, right? Your reflex and your heavy weapon skill if you're firing a heavy weapon. 
Okay. I believe it's reflex, but that's that's what heavy pistol handgun is. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. It just means that you can fire twice in a single action, so... Doesn't I'm not seeing anything for penalties. So when it says base fifteen, that means you're roll you're adding a fifteen to the roll because I'm adding my two stat, my that stat base and my skill. Hmm? Um yeah, stat stat plus skill plus D ten. And so yeah, you got a seventeen. Okay, cool. Um so the hulked out guy who was let's see, what was the range? Thankfully the you know the <laughs> <laughs> the um, the car got really close to him. I want to move that. He I'll describe this in a second. Sorry, there's so many fiddly bits going around here. This must be super exciting to listen to. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the the hulking psycho. You see him whirl around and say, "The glow boys will destroy anyone who comes onto their turf, whether they're birds or you idiots." He whirls around, a grenade launcher pops up out of his arm, and he targets the uh, vehicle. Boy. That's a problem. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Nice knowing you. Oh, so we can, like, yeah. Is, is talk free? Can we talk? Yes. <laughs> okay. So you hear the sound of, <laughs> as, a ro- as a grenade comes shooting towards the vehicle and slams into it. Yeah, and Bob's just gonna That's go. Oh, so we shouldn't help you kill these birds and just let them eat you, okay? <laughs> for the record, I was for that when we before we started this. I think that's what it, you would have said before the grenade hit and knocked the birds and the air right out of you. So, uh, yeah. twenty-two points of damage as the grenade goes off. Does that happen to the people inside the car? Yes. <laughs> Do they get any cover from the car? He shot it into the car. <laughs> no, I'm... Oh, boy. <laughs> and the car is now on fire. Oh, good. Well, that was half of my hit And I imagine since they're wearing seatbelts, they don't have a chance to dodge this grenade. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And they're These hanging upside down inside the now on fire car. <laughs> chicks right. need scars. Fire. <laughs> we are the chicks. <laughs> That's right. The booster gangers are screaming... <laughs> And uh, one of them uh, turns and is like, this is Glowboy territory. We'll teach you. And like shrugging off the birds and like whirling around fires a gun in um, Angry Bob's direction. Oh, now I want to shoot the guys instead of the birds and leave the birds to pick over their corpses. <laughs> so I am, I am in cover, correct? Even though the uh, cover is basically trash bags? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, it'll absorb some of the hits. See if that actually works. And the koi dogs continue their barking. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So I oh, don't think that's. The dogs I can see are very excited. Which right one now. was it? Which guy shot at you? Yeah. This guy that over guy? here. Yeah. Okay. So he's like 10. He needed a 15. Yeah. So he missed. Yay. Thank you um, for rolling one, Ken. And the other one <laughs> futilely uh, fires at the. Uh, at the uh, at the crow. Um, meanwhile, they, they like pause for a second. Like, koi dogs. Damn it, we got to make this quick. <laughs> the crows go. So uh, the the, uh, the corvids like suddenly they they pause in their attack and they waft up into the air, um, confused and like they, they are suddenly very very disoriented. Um, they had perceived something coming from the vehicle which then like flipped caught on fire um and they just like like, fly upwards and begin to circle and you can see like there's mutterings like passing back and forth between them and fire burning chrome fire burning chrome um and they like loop over and like down and like they're just they seem perplexed as to what's going on in the in the area but they have withdrawn from immediate uh fighting distance because they are very very confused about what's happening in their habitat me too (laughs) and you can hear a dull cacophony coming from within the building burning chrome burning fire Hmm. 
APT. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the car. You can't hear any of this over the sizzling. Yeah, of the no, motor. no, no. I have bigger concerns. I try to unfasten the seatbelt and crawl out of the car. That's that's my move. Um, is it choo choo two? Is that how you say it? Yep. Choo two. Yeah. I don't know what it smells like, but you think you smell it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess it smells like alcohol, right? Like somewhere, like. So I'm imagining like the top of the vehicle is, is has like low flames burning, the upholstery inside. Um, right. Well, actually, the, expl- the grenade hit in. Right. So the inside, the interior is um, like low flames, like low blue, full of blue and yellow flames are burning as the upholstery melts mm-hmm. and what have you. Um, and you can smell to to like from somewhere. Like there's there's fumes outside. If the flames reach outside of the vehicle, I think it's probably going to be a bad day, a worse day, okay. a substantially worse day. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the car and run. <laughs> I mean, it's... contortionist, athletics. <laughs> what would you like to use um, to escape the the burning vehicle? I would. Let me see what's under body here. Athletics, contortionist. Let's go with athletics. I'm trying to get out. All right. So a twelve. Okay. You tell me. So I think um, it, you're, you're assisted by the fact that the seatbelts are now partially melted. <laughs> oh, God. It's probably easier okay. to rip through it than it is to actually pop the mechanism, right? Which yeah. is now badly damaged. And it's been cut up by the shrapnel from the grenade. So you're able to rip it off, like kick the door open and stumble out mm-hmm. next to the car. Okay. That's that's. I think uh, unless I can do something else, that's my move. I think you I mean, can do I something can... else. Like that's basically kind of like your... I... I'm then I'm going to what how far is a dash? I'm gonna dash away from the car because it's gonna blow. <laughs> okay. Uh, how far can I dash? I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's let's pre- let's pretend let's we knew go. how to play this game. What's your move? <laughs> That's a good question. Um let me take a look. I think it's Sorry. your move. I'm, yeah, my move. I gotta find move. Your there move is, is in your um, stats. Yeah, I just thanks. I yeah, seven. I had no tr- trouble seven, looking for it. Okay, so seven squares. So I can make it to about there. Okay. And that you can is move a, number of yards is move act, times two. Okay, so I'm gonna go let me here's what here's what I'm gonna do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and duck down behind this pile of rubble. Omen. Uh, this could be a great uh, story to tell your peeps. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> I would also very much like to get out of the car and run away. All right, what are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, it? <laughs> uh, pulling myself out the window that I had open for my shotgun and pulling my shotgun with my flamethrower, really. So, athletics, so contortionist. Dance. Yeah, because I mean, you're, you're struggling your way out of the vehicle, right? Like, yep, yep, that would be accurate. Okay, you're able to definitely get out, and then like, imagine like you're reaching. Well, now you have the shotgun the whole time, right? So, are you like pushing the shotgun ahead of you, like crawling out, and then snagging it up as you get out? Yeah, yeah, I am right. looking for maximum distance between me and this. So, uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Four, gonna... five, six, seven. <laughs> I kind of imagine you were just going to run up to them and like point blank shoot them in the face with the flamethrower, but <laughs> I will hold it menacingly. But I don't want to be anywhere near this thing when it blows up. This is the part where you strap on your rocket blades, right? <laughs> If only you guys had had the action montage of all learning how to use rocket blades. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't have had a flipped car, for sure. I think that 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 is a that is some eighties that is some eighties movie, right? Like you're in a post apocalyptic shopping mall wearing rocket blades, running around with flame throwers, flame throwers, and shotguns. We will make this happen. You might have to. Uh, I believe that's okay. the Solar Babies movie. <laughs> yes, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Atlas, in a world with no water, if I remember correctly. <laughs> that's like Ice um, Pirates. <laughs> this uh, this car, over here, does it look like this is the car that they took? 
to get here. No, it looks all battered and like it looks like it's just it's already been abandoned. Okay, it's just it's just burned out. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say car for a car, and I'll shoot at their gas tank. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but instead, I think I'm just gonna say, okay, forget the birds, pull out the assault rifle, and aim for the leader's brains. Bob was thinking, hey, we can get some allies here, and now we've shot all the people who could be allies. <laughs> they didn't. Uh, the, the humans didn't appear to be possible to ally with after they started shooting at us, so I'm not mad about that at all. Alright, so it's 22 <laughs> meters. I should update this. Yep, so 22 the, meters. Yeah. Which okay, got I love how it displays the charts. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, so you do uh, 18. <clears throat> so actually hitting somebody with a gun, you just hit your target number and then you do the damage, right? There's no opposed roll? Yeah. Okay. And you just then do the damage got... and subtract armor. Subtract armor, right. Okay. The full and, uh, value of the armor? If it's over the... If it's over the armor, it ablates it and reduces okay. the armor by one. Okay, so I'm going to do some math. Oh, yeah, armor. Did armor work for the crash? Where you threw, yes, where you got thrown out, yes. I took six. Okay, so I actually didn't take any because my armor is 11. So those of you hit by the grenade might want to reduce the damage by your armor. Oh, yeah, let me do that. Yeah, how much armor do I have? I have, it looks like 11 points. Oh. And then your armor gets reduced down ten. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, because it went yes. over your armor. armor. Oh, well, that is handy. Okay. Yeah, armor is nice to have. It is. So I only took eleven <laughs> points of damage. Okay. All right. So Atlas, do you take a second shot, or is it what's your what's your uh... Uh, the assault rifles only rate of fire? Everything I have is rate of fire one, except for my uh, my swingy stick. All right, Angry Bob, describe your, your camera to me. It's an old eighty, big eighties camera, as far as I can tell, as far as I understood. How shiny? You know, it's the big shoulder light? mounted. Oh, it's black. Okay, so it's you know, a black. It's, it's mat, like a, like... it's like a black, maybe a little shiny, but like mostly just, you know, it's a big shoulder rig, sort of thing. So you're not actually like you don't have any like a like a light attachment on it or like infrared or anything like that. It's not lit right now, no. You're, sh that's you're for shooting sure. natural light. Okay. So it's just a big Well, I don't know if box. I'm shooting. I'm shooting my gun right now, so <laughs> it's probably at my feet. <laughs> Got you. Okay. So uh, what are you doing, Angry Bob? Yeah, Angry Bob is is wondering now. So who who shot at Angry Bob? Uh, is it this guy down here? Yes, this glow boy. The one, the one I shot a bird off of, that uh, uh, Alice and I shot a bird off of, shot at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Well, Bob's a little angry at that. So he's going to take two shots. So a 15 to hit. He is eight meters away. So that should hit. And a 20 to hit for 13 and 10. Okay. So. <laughs> Man. Now I'm regretting having a very heavy pistol. I should have just gotten a heavy pistol and gotten two shots. <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry. What was you, so you hit uh, you hit your target numbers? You said yes. I hit the target numbers. Um, okay. Thirteen damage on the first one. Gotcha. And then hopefully I've reduced his armor, penetrated the armor down so that I can actually damage him with ten on the next one. Well, it only ablates by one, right? Yep. It ablates by one every time it goes over. Right. Okay. And since Atlas shot him, oh, he's only he's wearing armor jack. <laughs> hopefully it's down oh, below I ten. Hit. I hit the big guy up here, up at the top. Oh, I, oh, right, right. You hit the big guy, you hit the, the bird on the other one. Yeah. His piecemeal armor <laughs> is more piecemeal than armor, so um, mm. he looks uh, pretty bad. And he was already torn All up right. some from the uh, from the ravens. Okay, as the, the birds are in the sky, uh, Big Bad Glow Boy turns and like the, the, the pop-up grenade launcher returns back into his arm. He slings a salt, like takes the salt rifle, like throws a, the shotgun that is in his other hand down to the ground, picks up his assault rifle, um, and takes a shot at the birds. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has no idea what he's doing. He? <laughs> he is now um, completely like frothing at the mouth. Like spit and sweat is flying off of him, mixed in with the the, the day glow body paint. So it's just like spraying all around him as he whips around Schwarzenegger style and just starts blasting at birds. 
Um, and he's got like one at eye, like hopefully cyber eye, like dangling from its socket. So it's yeah, I don't I don't think he's thinking too clearly right now. <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, I think in your uh, inexpert medical opinions, this guy has gone full cyber psychosis. He's not <coughs> doing well, and I'm confusing my screens again. Sorry, I need a better system for managing all these things. All right. He shoots and blasts a uh, significant, like, half of this swarm over here is now down. Uh, the other glow boys come closer. So let's see, this guy just screams and goes running towards Angry Bob. Boy, <laughs> I'm sure this is going to go well. <laughs> right. I don't know the blast radius of whatever this car is going to do, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where did your... He's gonna get hit before you, so... <laughs> you may have just gotten cover from the explosion. Oh, <laughs> That's true. That's true. So, you see blades pop out of his arms as he slashes at you with rippers. Um, oh, great. So, he hits an eight. Um, we've not eight. done melee combat yet. We have not done melee combat, <laughs> I think. <laughs> melee weapon skill to attack... All melee weapons ignore half of the damage, half of the art defender's armor. I have to do a dex plus evasion and d10. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Based on what I'm looking at. Evasion. There it is. 14. Not the best roll ever. You beat his eight. Yay. Okay, <laughs> good. Good, good, good. All right. Okay. So, you see with the, with the additional shooting... These crows uh, withdraw back towards the building and roost in the open window sills. And um, there's this low muttering, chrome, fire, chrome. And it seems to like kind of spread eerily throughout the entire area of the building. APT. Uh, yeah. Um, like and stay in behind cover a whole lot. Um, <laughs> so the birds have flown back to the building. Yeah, or they're, they're, yes. they're not all. No, they've, they've flown okay. into like the open windows of the building. Okay. And are now like roosting there, looking down and muttering. They're like 40 feet up. Well, I have a very heavy pistol, so I think that I will. Let me just get to the right. Okay. I think I want to take a shot at this guy, so I'm going to duck out and take a shot at him. Got to figure and out how that's going to work. Your move. Okay, good. Because then I'm going to run back. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, so the range there, 18 meters. I think I can hit that. I guess we'll find out. APT's not great with weapons. This is really not her thing. So, um, and neither is the player's thing. So he, she pulls out Clarice, her very heavy pistol. <laughs> it was 18 meters. Looks like I needed a 20. Looks like I missed. All right. So then I duck back behind the rubble. All right, on Omen's but, turn, the Chu Chu uh, drips down into the vehicle um, and it catches fire. And there's a massive explosion as it just rips up through the fuel line, hits the gas tank, and everything flashes <laughs> red and orange for a moment as the fireball rises up in the middle of the plaza. Um, there's no, none of you are close enough to take any damage from it, but there is now a substantial fire burning where the vehicle used to be. Well, I guess where the vehicle technically still is. The remains of the vehicle Does it are. take out any of the guys? It does not. Well, crap. So what you doing, Omen? Uh, then I will add to the fire and flamethrower the guy nearest me. <laughs> okay, so uh, range on yeah. a flamethrower is probably not great. Uh, it's not in your favor. Um, well, he's not very far from me either. So what? How many like, meters are you? I don't know how to get this the... guy's all, all, all the way over here. So I'm right here. This is me. Oh, oh! I was sorry. I was looking at APT. I'm sorry. I got confused. Thank you for moving yourself. Um, yeah, I'm pretty. <laughs> yeah, you're totally close. close. To him. You can flame him. <laughs> now we get to find out what incendiary shells do. Uh, it's this round and the next and the next couple of rounds. Well, that'll easily hit. I have incendiary ammo on my assault rifle, which basically sets them on fire, and until they put the, use an action to put themselves out, they take two damage directly to their HP whenever they end their turn. Yeah, but <laughs> the right, flamethrower, so, I think. Flamethrower rounds, I, I think, do yeah, five. I assume a flamethrower probably does better than that. 
<laughs> okay, so roll your damage. I think you should be able to do it off your character. I think you might have actually just been able to click. I don't know. Were you able to we add, might have flame added the flamethrower to the character sheet? Yeah. I put it on there, and it has. Oh, I'll just roll two d six. There we go. Seven. And he's on fire, right? <laughs> yes, and he's on fire. All right, so uh, he he screeches in pain and and agony as the fire melts his beautiful day glow. Atlas. It was it was four damage, by the way, not five damage for flamethrower. I mis misremembered. Four per turn, you mean? Additionally. Yes. At the end of their turn, they take four damage. Okay. Unless they spend the action to put it out. All right, Atlas. Sorry, my mouse is going. This is becoming a very effective weapon. Um, <laughs> all right, well, seeing as this guy is going full on psycho, um, and this guy is right up in Angry Bob's. Can I see him no, over the car? No, there's a, the, there's a towering inferno. There's a smoke and fire and what have you rising from the, the okay. from the car that would prevent line of sight. You know what? Take that back. Five will be here. <laughs> so that I'm just within my nice, beautiful range for my uh, for my assault rifle, and we're gonna shoot at that guy. Okay. Instead, uh, I believe a twenty should hit him. Yes. Uh, cause yeah, thirteen was the difficulty. Um, for seventeen damage. Okay, so you you kill him. How do you kill him? Like, what what's it look like? Oh, headshot. Okay. It's gotta be a headshot. <laughs> you blast, you just Side knock his over like his head and nearly just like comes clear off as he crumbles down into the ruptured garbage right. bags Bob, next to him, right? Sprayed, yeah, I sprayed brains on Bob's camera. <laughs> Angry Bob. Watch the camera. You're not so you, 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 you shot the guy in front of me? Yeah, gray yeah. matter kind of sprays He's out dead. over you. Okay. I mean, Bob's seen a lot of stuff. Does the does Brick Brack have cover from me? Nah. Okay. Uh, but then you want to cover from him. Well, <laughs> well hopefully after that. this, <laughs> hopefully after this, uh, we'll I'll be able to maybe recover some weapons. But right now, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to take a couple shots at Brick Brack. I think. So. Yeah. Is eight meters away. I mean, because you can move and then move back in Cyberpunk. Ooh, that was ooh. a crit hit. Wow, and that does... And a 13. Crits automatically do uh, critical injuries, right? Oh, it can make me look more stuff up. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> um, so the second one will miss, so that's easy. Okay, well... I think crit was on down. damage roll. Wasn't it? Sorry? Was it criticals oh, my, on yeah. damage rolls? All right, well, we're running down because I have uh, other stuff I have to do today, too, and I think Josh needed to get going. So this is what we're going to say happens. Your critical hit severs his spine, and he <laughs> collapses to the ground, twitching uncontrollably. Not quite dead, but unable to move, and you've um, destroyed some pretty fundamental cyberware that was keeping all of his myriad systems running. And he drops to the ground, gasping, like, the glow, the glow, take me the glow. This guy, uh, like, stumbles away from Omen on his initiative, and then, like, he's already taken a lot of damage from the crows and what have you, and he's on fire. And as, um, as he's stumbling away, the flames just consume him, and he collapses... <laughs> <laughs> cardiac arrest to the ground like he just his system is completely overwhelmed and he just he just dies and then like from within the building you can hear chrome fresh meat and that'll be a good place to stop okay. <laughs> all right I like how the and he's on fire is the afterthought <laughs> <laughs> wow no guys one can Good um, job. That was spectacular. I had no idea how that was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we did not either. I, Omen, I think I think your critical failure made the scene. Yeah. But honestly, I don't think this would be nearly as much fun without that critical failure. <laughs> I mean, if we wanted to take the Glow Boys out, maybe it would have been like Robo, the end of the 
toward the end of RoboCop, where RoboCop runs the guy over um, after he's dumped <laughs> in the pool of acid. But but yeah, it also potentially this was more like uh, zone. sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say this was this is more like uh, the crash with David and his mother in in the beginning of of Edge Runners, yes. where we're all upside down, things are on fire. Yes, exactly so, exactly so. All right, well, everybody, thank us. Thanks for joining us for this. Uh, this episode of our actual play. Uh, hopefully you've been entertained by the chaos. <laughs> we'll be doing this again soon.